Okay guys, sorry about that. I know that kind of cut off abruptly at the very end there. You got her point and uh, very powerful words she had to say. I'm still getting attacked by HBD here and uh, <laughs> yeah, they're making it real interesting to keep this Ustream stream going for you guys. But uh, make sure you guys go back, see all the interviews that we got going on here. We got a lot of good stuff about uh, how things are going and uh, what's happening. So, okay, what's the website? Um, I want the whole world to go to Bishop Estate LandlordInjustice.com. Sign the petition, submit a comment. That's the only way that our voices can be heard as well. Go to change.org, that's the second website, and just type in Bishop Estate and our petition will come up. Please, everyone around the world, if you have ever been suppressed, if you have ever experienced injustice from a landlord, from anybody, from the government, from people in power, go to our website, sign and submit a comment. All the voices count. Together we can do it. Bishop Estate and other landlords want us to be divided because divided we cannot do nothing. But together we can, and together we will. Bishop Estate Landlord Injustice.com website and change.org. Type in Bishop Estate. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Aloha. Thank you very much. Make sure you guys get to that. Help her out and uh, sign the petition. That's definitely going to court, and we got a lot of activity that's going on from it. A lot of injustice all over the islands, and it's not just here in Oahu or one little section or just one family. This is a, a major corporation that was entrusted with uh, Hawaiian funds and lands to make it accessible for the people of these islands, and uh, they're abusing their rights and creating substandard living. And then uh, when people speak up and say anything, they decide to kick them out, put them in court, charge them for any losses even though they keep, get to keep everything and here undeveloped land has become developed from them free of charge. It's an injustice. This is, this is supposed to be for the community, for Hawaiians, for the islands to further their economy, to further their living, their living standards and all they're doing is uh, throwing people out left and right. The American government is doing nothing to help the situation. They've allowed corporate greed to infest this area, and uh, it is destroying the islands. We have third world areas all over these islands because of the corporate greed of America, and uh, no one's doing anything about it. So Occupy Honolulu is standing here in solidarity and uh, against the biggest landowner here in uh, the Hawaiian Islands. I mean, these, these guys are the, the one percenters for sure, and they were given the money to be entrusted with the money to help people, and they're doing nothing of the sort. Bullying and intimidation is criminal. It's against the law. We should be taken to the people's court for bullying. You got anything to say? Come on, I know you're always full of words, man. You always got this. Basically, it, it feels good to be out here and, and to do this and to stand up against a Goliath like this. Yeah. They've gotten corrupted, and Bishop and State didn't start out this way. Bernice Hawaii Bishop set aside the trust so that something like this wouldn't happen. Yet here we are today. So we're going to fix it. Cool. Thank you. Uh, okay, we're getting another burst, another uh, attack here. My internet connection is slowing way down once again. So, uh, if you guys see another break, just hold on and I'll be right back on. But so far it seems like, uh, yeah, it looks like it's trying to build back up. So hopefully uh, we get we keep things under control. <laughs> 
We are currently at 567 King Street in Honolulu, Hawaii. And uh, come on and join the fun here if you guys are local and uh, watching this Ustream. stream. We can use the help. We need, uh, we need people to speak out against this. This is Hawaiian money. This is money that's set aside by an individual many, many years ago that was made to benefit the people of Hawaii. You know, Hawaiians are, we have 37% of Hawaiians that are on the streets right now. And here, Bishop Estate is entrusted with lands that would benefit people for living and a better life. And they're not utilizing any of those lands for that purpose. Their only purpose is to make money. We understand people need to make money to be able to keep things going. But to throw people out before their lease, I mean, the individual that's here, the Vegas is, that's attacking uh, Bishop Estates and uh, we're in solidarity with, she's being thrown out of her lease 20 years sooner after spending hundreds of thousand dollars to redevelop their lands so she wouldn't be flooded anymore after four major raids has destroyed her home numerous of times. I mean, how, I, nobody understands how you're going to throw someone out for making your land worth more. You know, all they're worried about is other entities. And some of those entities we have found, uh, Bishop Estates has been involved with is uh, GMO Foods and Farmlands. Um, they're a very big supporter of that, and that's ruined our economy and sustainability on these islands. And this is something that needs to be addressed with Bishop Estates. Make money, but make money right. Make money that's uh, reusable, something that's going to be sustainable, something that's going to benefit the people in the islands. You know, don't throw people out because they can't run their corporation in a manner that's humane. Bishopofstatelandlordinjustices.com Contact I've already contacted them all. Getting a few more people to join in here. This is a good thing. Definitely a lot more support. And a lot of support out here. Have a lot of viewers. Blast this out on Facebook, Twitter, any place you guys can. Get this uh, Ustream out there. Let people know what's going on and why. I will get you in line. The American government has stood aside and has allowed the injustices to happen on the most secluded spot in the world of Hawaii, and has created a means for third world areas throughout our islands. We have people living in tents, we have people that's getting beaten, we have people that's having their stuff stolen by a bill that was created by the City Council of Honolulu under Tulsi Gabbard, uh, just to repress people of these islands, no matter what race, what creed, what religion, it's all about corporate money. If you're not one of the upper, say, 20%, they don't even want to talk to you. Um, they're pushing people off the island. It's, it's become a really rough area in some of the some of the islands here, in some of the areas. It's horrible what they're doing. They've they've actually created means to start kicking people out of schools. You know, little children. They kick little children out of schools just to uh, hope in that they'll leave the islands. You know, because they want this to be a rich playground. And uh, Bishop Estates is allowing this type of behavior of the American government by themselves kicking more individuals off the islands, off of property that was given to them and trusted to them to be utilized for Hawaiians. This money is needed for people to survive here. We've, we've had an average income of only like $8 an hour in a world where the average housing costs six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. They just ruined they've taken some of our farmland and put twelve thousand homes that start off at six hundred thousand dollars a piece and called it affordable housing. How is affordable housing 
at eight dollars an hour. You know, it's it, this is horrible. What's coming here? If if America wants a third world entity within their uh, union, as they want to call it, then uh, we'll fight them on it. If they uh, want to start standing up for the mess that they've created and get after Bishop Estates and say this is wrong, get after the city council, this is wrong, to get after all the corporations that they've allowed by creating corporate personhood that's made it possible for these corporations to steal money that was left it to the, that was left to them as a trustee for these people. I mean, this, this is just wrong. I mean, we can't have, you know, half or more of our uh, citizens end up on the streets because of corporate greed. What you guys see on the mainland or out in the, on the state side there, the small time of what you actually have going on here in Hawaii. And people need to understand this. Occupy Honolulu has been here as the longest encampment for a reason. We've been fighting a battle here. And uh, Bishop Estates is just... Just a one pin dot of some of the atrocities, but they're the one they're some of the biggest offenders here on these islands.
Blast us out, guys. We need this on Facebook and Twitter as much as possible. Blast us out. We're up against some of the biggest landowners in the country, and definitely the biggest here in Hawaii. <laughs> it's a good response. We're getting a good response. This is what you guys were after. We have so many people watching my Ustream right now, it's pitiful. Yeah, you, you got some people and that's in support. And a lot of them are posting it out there even farther, so we're getting some support. resurrection morning. I promise you, this will not go unpunished, and we will not be silent. Man, I get down on that, they got something going on, because every time I get down on that end, it turns all, it turns as yellow all for right. uh, my connection. It, it literally, here, I'm doing like 400K, right? That's a good-ass connection. But at 400K, it's yellow, and it keeps knocking it out. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I got a strong, strong connection. I mean, it's, these guys are screwing it's with a me. cyber warfare, Bob. Yeah, exactly. You're fucking with your free internet. <laughs> Would you like to say anything else? It's been a while. No. No, you're good? I'm good. We got a lot of sport going on out there on the internet right now. A lot. A lot of sport. It's really cool how people are standing up. Nice. Yep. Occupy Honolulu for all the all the viewers that are jumping on right now. Occupy Honolulu is standing at five six seven King Street in Honolulu, Hawaii. We're uh, standing against some of the biggest. Uh, well, actually, it's one of the biggest corporations that we know for real estate here in Hawaii and most of America. Correct? I mean, these people are huge. They own most of the lands out here, and they're kicking people off their property ahead of their lease times after they develop the land that makes the land worth and using it for such needs as Monsanto, for GMO foods, and a personal gain by being able to charge some other occupants of the home after they've evicted the others for more funds so they can become a richer and richer corporation. And, uh... Here, they're supposed to be in trustee of these money, this money that was left to the Hawaiians and the people of Hawaii. And uh, we're not seeing any help from America. Because America, of course, as we all know, is a lot of corporate per personhood that's uh, facilitated these means to happen.
Third world areas throughout Hawaii is developing because of this injustice that's happened. Woo! And uh, we've definitely made a stand with them. We're seeing a lot of police interaction and uh, attacks on my uh, Ustream, which is normal if you guys follow me and usually see that. I, I recently picked up uh, an external source for internet, but uh, wasn't able to get that fully charged for this particular event, so uh, we're relying on AT&T, and AT&T just loves our government, I don't know. That's how you conduct a business. What kind of business is that? That you slumlord. Yeah, slumlord, it means that you do absolutely nothing as a landowner. You see the people that are leasing the land, they get flooded by you, and you just sit there and watch them be devastated. That's what is called slumlording. And you allow your dilapidated houses to be there for years. And it was housing all the drug dealers that came and robbed our home and all the homeowners' homes, and you just sit there and watch them be devastated. That's called slum. Lordy, that is not a law that no compassion for the trust that you are given to caretake for the Hawaii children, but instead you conduct your business as a slum lord. You don't deserve to caretake that. I think it is about time that we overhaul, overhaul the trust again because it is still broken. It's still broken. We don't want your money. Bishop Estate, that's not your money. That is my children's money. They are the beneficiaries and all the other children of Hawaii. We are here speaking out against how you slumlord, against how you illegally overcharge the homeowners, how you bully and intimidated the homeowners that drove my dear friend Brian Wolfenden to his suicidal death, leaving a suicidal letter to me and my family of how he was driven to suicide by Bishop Estate, bullying, intimidating, harassing him. So, Bishop Estate, we pay our own way through and we are speaking out. We fixed our home and you kept on flooding us. It is your kuleana to fix the flood. Fix the flood and end all the injustices. Shame on you. You heard it straight from her. Stop the injustices and sign the petition. Bishop Estate Landlord and Justice dot com. Stop the flooding in Honolulu and sign the petition. To save the home. Do you want me to carry something? Thank you guys for jumping on Revolution Nova on the Ustream here. Uh, I want you to check out change.org for a petition against Bishop Estates. Change.org against Bishop Estates, Landlord Injustice. Sign the petition if you can. Help Hawaii out. <laughs> I was like, huh, the end landlord, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's not going to help. I'm for everybody. I'm for everybody. I'm for everybody. I'm for everybody. All right, we'll call it. Um, Are we ending? Stop. Okay, thank you all for uh, joining in. I, we all appreciate the support you guys gave. Just keep blasting the Ustream links out, and... Uh, Stop landlord injustices and sign the petition. Bishop Estate, landlordinjustice.com. See the images, be a voice, and sign the petition to end landlord injustices. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining in on Revolution Nova.